Happy Half Day, Wildcats. Today is Monday, November 19th. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. A moment of silence. Please be seated. Any students in grades 7 through 12 who is interested in going over to the Council on Aging to help our senior citizens with technology, please see Mrs. Page. We plan to hold the session on Monday, December 10th from 12.45 to 1.30. There are just two weeks left to support Mr. Campagna, Mr. Despier, Mr. Cray, and Senior Matt Condon as they participate in a friendly competition to help raise funds for Massachusetts Prostate Cancer Coalition. Long live the mustachio. We are looking for volunteers to work the school store tomorrow from 5 to 7. This time can be put towards the community service hours. If you are interested, please come to the office. Want to be a part of the board game club? Come on down to the Learning Commons and get a pass from Mrs. Thomas. Meetings are during Power Block on Mondays and Thursdays. We are also looking for donations, so if you have any old board games, please bring them to the Learning Commons. Thank you. Attention yearbook staff members. There will be a mandatory meeting right after school at 11 tomorrow in room 204. College acceptances, Rebecca Ramos, UMass Dartmouth, and Dan Pleach, University of Maine. New college visit on November 27th, Savannah College of Art and Design at 1 p.m. Please sign up in guidance. Attention juniors and seniors, Bridgewater State College dual enrollment applications are available in the guidance office for the spring semester. Col counselors will be visiting classrooms to explain the process. Please contact the guidance office with any questions. The cross-country teams began their season racing in intense heat and humidity back in August and completed their season yesterday at the MIA State Championships, racing in six inches of snow. Seniors Caitlin McGrath, Chris Regal, Dan Pleach, Paula Ferry, and Chris Williams all completed their cross-country careers with strong performances. Madison Anderson, Chance Bain, Chris Papp, Caitlin Caprian, Laurie Mitchison, Charlotte Sin Sinaski, Jess Whittemore, Hannah Russo, and Joey Kennan all conquered the three plus miles of snow and slop. Coach Sylvain would like to extend a special thanks to the injured senior captain, Devin McCarthy, for making the trek out to the Western Mass and supporting the team throughout the entire weekend. A quick note to all potential ski and ride clubbers. Your ski club payments are due one week from today, Monday the 26th. If you have any questions about the ski and ride club, please see Mr. Cray. If you have not picked up your powder puff shirt, you can pick it up in Mrs. Marple's room. Make sure to wear your powder puff shirt to school on Tuesday. And now to chance with the weekday weather. Hello, West Bridgewater, and welcome back to weekday weather, where I am barely awake and somehow managed to get through this script. Today, we'll have a high of 48 and a low of 38, with it being mostly cloudy throughout the day. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 42 and a low of 27, with there being a pretty good chance of both rain and snow, which makes me feel not okay, because that means winter is very close to absolutely clapping us head on. On Wednesday, there will be a high of 38 and a low of 13, and on Thursday, there will be a high of 26 and a low of 13. That's going to do it for me. Going back to the anchors right about now. Thanks, Chance. Our homecoming football game is this Thursday versus Southeastern at 10 a.m. at West Bridgewater. Ms. Hamill is looking for volunteers to sell tickets. For more details, you can see Ms. Hamill in the athletic office. Go Wildcats! And finally, a happy birthday to Sierra Durrance, Josie Fluke, and Rebecca Ramos. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Laura, myself, and the morning crew, have a great day.